Hi, my name is Matthew. Welcome to Artisans Interactive Game Dev. Today we're going to get into changing levels in Construct 2. Let's jump right in. Okay, let's get started. We're going to create a portal where our player is going to collide into and then transport to the next level. Uh, so, you know, we are starting off uh, from this project, but you'll be able to follow along uh, with your own project from home. Otherwise, uh, this project and all the materials are in the description box below. So, let's do it. We are going to create our portal by first right clicking Insert New Object, and we are going to select the sprite. We're going to call this bottle. Now uh, this could be like a door or a gate or um, anything, so we're just using a portal. Feel free to name it what you like. Once we've done that, we go insert, we can drop it down. And because I have a portal already drawn up, go open, into my files, is my portal, and I go there. You. Now, um, zoom in. Because we've loaded this in, it's already done a collider that's nicely around our portal. Perfect. And uh, we are going to accept that. So we'll just close the editor down. And there's our portal. I'm going to throw this portal down here. Now, if we were to set up the script and we were to say and collide with this, um, we have currently no level 2 to travel to. So we're going to make a level 2 to start with. And I usually suggest the best way to make a level 2, 3, and 4 is to mostly just duplicate from your existing layout. This will maintain all your settings and layers and then of course at when you're on that new layout you'll be able to edit and adjust that so i will first right click on my layout and go duplicate and i'm going to call this level and i'm going to edit the name of my other layout to level one level one so, level 1, level 2, and at the moment we can only see level 1. This is what's in our tabs. If we want to show level 2, double click on level 2, and now we have level 2. Because they're duplicates, we cannot tell um, if they're different. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll jump onto our level 2. I'm just going to click on a couple of the assets, copy it, uh, control C, control V to paste, and I will put this up here, and I will add portal above it. I also want to be careful because I want to also copy rally points that I have um, and they those make sure that the enemy moves back and forth and stays on this platform. And there we go. So now if I click on my level 1, that's what my level 1 looks like. That's what my level 2 looks like. Okay, so I'm going to click on level 1. And if I was to press play, at the moment we have no actions that are changing us to the next level. Well, let's do that. We are going to go to the event sheet and then I have a whole bunch of code. This does not really matter so much uh, if you are following along from your own project. Um, <clears throat> I'll just find a place to put this um, bit. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a player collision event with the portal. So We've been categorizing all player-related actions in a player group. 
which uh, if you want to know how to make a group, you can right click and add group. So we have this player group. We're going to right click, like select it all, right click, add, and then we're going to add a sub event. This sub event will be the player and we're going to look for on collision on collision with another so when the player collides with our portal we're going to go to the next level so we need to add the next level in to the action section so we've got the collision now let's go add action and then we are going to pick our system. So this is our game system. We're going to then go to general and under here we have a whole bunch of ways that we can go about going to another level. So these, each way you, that you can go about this is you can go to go to A layout. So go to A layout, if I double click, will let me select a particular layout. If I wanted to go to a layout by name, I can click that and I could add a name of a particular layout that I want to be going to. Or, in our case, we want to just go to the next layout. So, we can go to the next or previous. And the way that this works is, it will either, as you can see, we got level one, level two. Well, if we're on level one, we'll go to level two. If we're using next. If we're using previous, we're on level two, we'll go to level one. Um, but if we had another portal and it was still under previous, we would have no more layers to go to because there's no levels before one. And that's the same for next. There's no levels after level two. So just be aware of that. So next level done. Awesome. And if we were to now press the play button, I'll drag that over here. Here is my level one. And my player will go over the portal. And there we are. I uh, jumped into level two. Uh, and obviously, if I was to try to jump on that portal, nothing would happen because there's nothing beyond this level. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell icon and I'll see you in the next video.